those people who see still positive about the game you're not wrong i'm not trying to devalue your opinion on where the company is and the practices and how they how they see you if you, if you think they've done a good job and you think they have acted in a morally good light then that's fine How's it going guys, my name is Exold. Used to be a Dead by Dalek content creator. These days I'm playing a great early access game made by one guy called Phasmophobia. Fantastic and high potential horror game. Very fun game, check out my beginner's guide on that. If you want to jump in, learn something about it and also check out the gameplay videos that I've put up so far. See where it's up your alley. If you like Dead by Daylight, you like the horror genre, I think you might, I think you really might enjoy it. Check it out how it goes, really encourage it. Right, so this is probably one of my last Dead by Daylight videos and today we are going to talk about our value as a Dead by Daylight player. Is we've been valued differently by the company for various reasons. Early on, obviously, we have probably valued quite highly. The average player base was fairly low, so the, the business plan of it, of it was bring new people in, encourage content creation, get people on YouTube and Twitch and get them bringing people over to the game. Those people then buy the game and then DLC releases happen, which will bring extra income from current and new players. And that was sort of the business model. And it, and it worked, it worked, it worked well, it worked well. These days, the business model is you get new players, you get them involved in the game, you bring out three monthly DLC releases, hope that people keep buying these. You've got a shop now where you can buy cosmetics, you've got a battle pass which will encourage people to grind for cosmetics and um, charms and other things like this that cost you in-game money. So that's the current business plan. And, and as I say, we used to be valued a hell of a lot more. Take for instance, the main topic that we're going to talk about really is the Halloween event. There's been many videos put on it, but my, what I want to bring out here is just our value and how that was showcased in this event, which I think was kind of overlooked somewhat by other videos of a similar nature. Our value back in the day was a lot higher and it showed in the events because I think it was only two or three years ago the an event was done where you could like unlock two full skins for your favorite killer out of a choice of, of a few killers and you could do that and you could unlock um, skins for your favorite survivor as well sorry so you could have like two full sets you could have one survivor one killer two killers two survivors i believe that was what it was if my memory served me right i was around for that um and progressively it's got kind of a little bit worse so i think last year you could unlock one free skin i believe i think you could unlock one free skin by getting serum from the event correct me if i'm wrong but i believe that was the case and then we come to this year the year where behavior are getting record profits they are earning so much money from the in-game store from the dlc purchases and everything about dead by daylight everything about dead by daylight and how we as as players are giving the company money so it should should suggest that we have more value as a player base than we ever did in the day. But the way events are being released now suggests that they don't see quite like that. We are undervalued and we have been for some time. Progressively, our value in the eyes of the developers or the company at large has decreased over time. Whilst the profit margins of the company has increased substantially over that time. And obviously you can say, yeah, they made a mistake in the event, but come on. You gave us extra blood point um, events, double blood points over the weekends and over a certain amount of time. And they've um, reduced the iridescent shard prices to allow you to unlock these skins at a much quicker rate than it was before. And yeah, great. You've got something when you had nothing, but fundamentally and morally to me, they undervalued us all from the very beginning. They were happy to bring out an event in Halloween, the premier day of the year for a horror game, even if it is an arcade horror game. They were happy to release an event that completely showcased how undervalued we are as a player base. And to me, that, to me, that was immediately a big, big red mark against them. Massive. Massive. 
So they brought out this care package of stuff to try and keep us happy because there was a, a bit of an uproar on the forums, Reddit and various Discord servers from big content creators for the game. But was that release all they were willing to do to stop the uproar? No. By no means was blood point event and a reduction in iridescent shards for skins all that they were capable or willing to do what happened is that i think they threw forward half at probably like not even half of what they were willing or capable or able to give us as players it's probably not even half of what we are worth they, they, they pushed that forward and a lot of people were just happy to go yeah we've gone from zero to this it's got to only be profit hasn't it from where we were but in doing so you just sold yourself short incredibly <laughs> you could have easily had more blood point autumn event event time you could have easily had better skins you could have had so much more but and that's not your fault that's just that's just simple consumer psychology if you're able to hold back what, what you're capable of doing, if you, if you can show yourself as weaker than you are, you're able to produce half of the sum and make it seem like the full sum. That, that's all that happened. All that happened was you got a little bit, uh, us as all, as well, include myself there, all of us as players, we all got psyched out by simple business psychology. And that's the sad situation. We are still undervalued by the company, even though they brought out this care package, I'll call it. And even so, you can you can see straight away how people have reacted to it. Whilst the overall player base has still increased over the months, and you know it's still higher this month than it was two months ago, three months ago or so, there has been a drop off in the last thirty days. And this is since like the release of information really about what the event was going to be. And, and everything else the player base really did drop off there's people like myself who just immediately saw it as bad news and kind of left the game behind for the time being and that's still that, that's like a stark show of where the game kind of is right now it's in a situation where in its most important time of the year it has let the player base down and regardless of what to do they have let it down Regardless of what they did, they've let it down. And I think, unfortunately, going forward, I think next year, I think the event next year, unless they realise the danger here, I think next year is going to be even worse. Or it's just going to be another, it's going to be the exact same starting point as it was this year. And I think they'll just prepare with a blood point package and all. I think they'll just keep that back and I think they'll just release it as, as it was this year. I think they'll just release it again. Get free skins by playing 500 hours or whatever it was i think they'll do that again and then i think they'll um, wait for the uproar just release a half hours package again that's my that's my foresight into next year and then they'll just release another half assed compromise the point of this video really was just to showcase the practices of companies even the company that you've got your back companies that have likable um front think figures like mco i think honestly like you you listen to him talk and the enthusiasm for the game and everything and you think yeah he's like he's clearly passionate seems like a nice guy but then you also have the shady side of the company where they're just they're happy to monetize and rinse you for everything that you got and compromise on the compromises and it really was it really really was it was a half assed compromise and we kind of lapped it up as a community for the most part but here's the biggest takeaway that i'm going to try and push forward to you there's people out there that think like me who are kind of fed up with behavior and the way they undervalue you us all as content creators as players for those people i highly encourage you to do what i'm doing which is to just uninstall the game move away find a different game a game that will treat you a little bit better value you a little bit more take a break from the game and hit them where it actually matters because you can keep making content in negative saying oh, i'm I'm fed up with the game because of this I'm fed up with the game with that but then still push forward more content of gameplay which will still drive people to the actual game instead I highly encourage you if you're able to I know some of you can't because of how your content and how you get your play how you get your viewers and stuff like that it's very dead by dialogue based I get that 
but for the people who are able to just get out of it try and move to something else and try and put the negativity behind you for those people who are still positive about the game you're not wrong i'm not trying to devalue your opinion on where the company is and the practices and how they how they see you if you, if you think they've done a good job and you think they have acted in a morally good light then that's fine keep on playing enjoy it i hope you have great games i hope you um, keep on improving as players and i hope you get the most out of the game and fair play to you fair play to you it takes in my opinion it takes a big personality to see the positive side in dead by daylight so fair play to you and that's not me doing a backhanded compliment that's for me genuinely well, well done keep on keep on going so yeah the video was not intent on trying to change your opinion if you're a positive person towards dead by daylight my video was geared more towards people who are just kind of a bit ground down and fed up with the game and hope you found a little bit of value you found a different perspective on the situation and hey if you're gonna join me in uninstalling the game and having your own little silent protest and hitting the company where hurts which is in their player base account on the steam stats and in their income please do join me because i think it's the only way you're going to be companies that are trying to do these morally poor business practices and compromises you've got to hit them where it hurts so i hope you join me until the next video goes catch you next time